I'm Danny Hogger and today we're talking about my new album, Ladder. There's a sticker on that guitar from every gig I've played in every city I've traveled to musically. So it's a pleasure to be with you. Danny Hogger here. Hi, everybody. A couple hours before school starts, I wanted to take a minute to introduce the album, which debuted yesterday, Laddering, my fourth studio album and really proud of it. It's a collection of individual songs more than ever, where it feels like each song has its own life, piece, and genre. So let's go over and listen to a few samples and let you know kind of what went into each song uh, based on the questions and answers that I've been receiving online. So we start with number one, that's Losing Sleep. It's an unplugged version of a song that I play every time I perform live. And I just wanted to go back and record a song with that special uh, lead guitar line that was invented by Daniel Angarita. Well, we used to play live together on uh, many live gigs, including Closing Down the Last Border store. So it's a song that's important to me. And just take a listen for a minute. It's got a lot of uh, major to minor to seventh transitions and is perhaps the most like radio ready song that I've written that could and I feel like should uh, get some airplay and has in the past in Anaheim and other places. But uh, that was, of course, with my own radio influences there. Anyway, one of my favorite songs that I've ever written. And I just wanted a new version of it, a cleaner version with the two acoustic guitar lines to be prevalent. And that's what I did. And I think it came out pretty nice. And it leads off the album. It's the only song you've heard before, uh, unless you're a follower of my free pad podcast, which every week can get free music at dannyhogger.podbean.com or subscribe on iTunes. And uh, it's a great way to lead off the album with some energy. And then we pick up the tempo from there. There are a few songs on the album that really get the tempo pushing. This song is called Haunted and it has a pretty good bass line in it. Some strong overtones. The song is for a friend who I lost last year. And instead of making it a ballad and a sad, droopy song uh, about tragic loss, I was thinking about how I just wish this person was still around to be with, to hang out with. And so I talked about how I wanted to be haunted by you. Like, I wish you were still around. You know, I still feel you. And then there's this kind of slow breakdown here where I do kind of let that emotion come through of like missing someone. And you wouldn't know that by listening to it. It kind of just sounds like a modern rock song with like an Atari style breakdown because I'm a big Atari's fan. Um, but yeah, there's definitely a lot of, a little bit of pain and hurt inside that song. And that's okay. I mean, that's part of the emotion that drives us and we think about people that are gone. So Haunted, track two. We move on to track three, which is maybe a more direct plea for sadness, um, but also a sense of resilience then I'm not just someone who's going to sit and cry and wait for things to get better and complain when they're not. I'm not that one. So. And I think it's a song, too, about not letting people manipulate you to let people play you as weak so they can be strong, that there's so much more. This has an influence, I think, from Ryan Adams and the Cardinals. I think I'd always wanted a song like that that was broken down very simply into some finger picking. You hear the warmth in the air, and that's because I had to amplify it quite a bit. I played it quite, quite quietly, quite quietly even, and I think it's got a lot of soul in it. So that's track three, Crying on Your Shoulder, and gets us to track four, On Your Own. This is probably right along the genre you're familiar with. If you listen to my songs from Swan Dive or Chasing the Golden Age, those albums are available on iTunes and Amazon. And I think it just has the very uh, singer songwriter vibe with some electronic influences. And I think I got that high chime idea in the background uh, from Jimmy Eat World. So you could hear a little bit of my influences more on this album. I let the channeling of other artists kind of happen through me. And that was kind of cool to be able to hear myself sound like people that I enjoyed listening to. And it's different on every track. So that's the cool thing. If you've enjoyed downloading the free songs this week, some were a hit for you, some were a miss for you. That's good. Um, you could buy a song or two and maybe be happy with what you get out of Lattery. And I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with that. If it can reach a wide variety of people a little bit, then that's, that's a good effect for the album. So the song's got a Stockton reference in it. I think it's the only one on the album. 
But, you know, again, the main theme of laddering is trying to climb up, trying to find the next rung and realize when the next rung down is time to leave behind. So um, there you go. Everything I Wanted. First sense of romance on the song is track five. Much like early Green Day, I feel like it influences a lot of the songs on this album. And the comments on this were interesting. People were really liking this one and saying the vocals were strong. And I, I didn't necessarily uh, reflect that when I was performing it. I like the big instrumental build about two and a half minutes in when you get a little string section, some synth, and some really bright, vibrant guitar solo. So it's a very slow build. If you like songs that um, build up that way, then that's going to be one that you're going to enjoy. I'll let you enjoy more of that one later. The only collaboration on the album is track seven. This is Friends. And Greg Kettlehick and I got together one day, and I was halfway through recording the song. He helped me finish the chords and the lyrics. And although you don't hear his vocal performance, he's playing one of the rhythm guitars. So this is the only track unlike some others where you hear um, only one collaborator and just for this one song and it's a song about friends written with friends it's not a whole lot to say it was dedicated dedicated to matt aguirre and his new twin so congrats buddy and it just references how we get to school early shoot bottle caps in the ceiling and throw skittles up there and it's just a very simple fun little song see clearly it's track eight Another slow builder. A little bit uh, ghosty, I'd say, on the vocals. Played around with some reverb there. Kind of has like an urban subway vibe. And a certain sensitivity to it, which I think all the songs on Laddering carry. And I don't know, I think the song kind of speaks for itself. It's about trying to find your way and see clearly through difficult times. Another sense of um, trying to hold on to someone is Don't Fade Away. It's the next track on the album. It's track nine. All these songs, by the way, available on my YouTube playlist for the album, so check it out. It's a great free way to listen. Also stream on Spotify. The song's about limited time. And the ticking away of moments and not to waste it. And uh, to take time with the people you love and the people who inspire you. And don't let them slip away from you over time. So... I don't know, deeper meaning there if you choose to find it. I'm a fan of that one. Number 10, Where I'm Going, is one of the two very folk singer-songwriter songs, I'd say, on this album, along with Laddery in the final track. Let's take a listen. And it's mainly a guitar line and a harmonica line. I believe it's a two-track recording. There's no other alterations to it. It's very uncut, unplugged, raw sound, which is another trend in Danny Hager music. So if you're a fan of the folk songs, pick up 10 and 17. That's Where I'm Going and Laddering. Uh, my first venture into hip-hop is a really fun song. It might be the, it is the most fun song on the album. It's called Leave It Up To You. And let's take a listen to that. Some people just seem in I can't help sing along. Worry about the past that you can't change. It's a blast. It was so much fun to record. You can do whatever you want, I don't know. I had fun with it. So whether you like it or not, I'm going to love this song for a long time. And lyrically, it was probably the most challenging because it ended up having so many lines and lyrics to fill those lines when you're speaking so fast. Love it. It's so much fun. And it's a song about not giving up, fighting to the final fall, seeing the penthouse view in your in your vantage, not letting people detract you and get you down because you can do whatever you want, man. So much fun. I don't know what prompted me to get into that recording session, but it carried itself through in a couple hours. Um, 12, track 12 is about not being sure. Another song about finding your way. And uh, it goes along with a couple others where I really think there's a thematic feel of climbing and laddering, trying to rise up. And that's not sure yet. Challenges is the other big rock song, like Haunted on the album. You get a fast bass line. And it's got a really, really nice guitar line. It's also got a bit of an organ battle in it. So 
exploring different ideas of keys and guitar interactions. There's some really streaming, screaming high notes that descend nicely together. And I really liked the way that that composition came together. It was a lot of fun to play it. Here's a little sense of the organ followed by guitar. And here comes your descending double guitars. I think it's one of the defining moments of the album in the sense that I had never recorded something like that before. Swan Dive was very much a slow walk through ballads, and this had a really nice, uh, fun vibe, bouncy bass to it, and it was a blast to record, and I enjoyed it a lot. So that's Challenges, number 13. 14 is more of a descent into some acoustic jazz, even a little bossa nova. Again, different sounds for different tracks. Used a Siegel S6 full guitar on this one. And you can feel those low rolling E string notes. And it worked really well. So only three more to talk about here on this album. Walk Away is maybe a, a tribute to a little bit of a sound like a Bush or a, uh, what do I want to say? A cutting guitar line that you would have heard in the 90s on the radio. And it's very simple and stripped down, but it also has a lot of emotion. Almost a smash mouth. Um, didn't mean to say that. Smashing Pumpkins. <laughs> My kids like Smash Mouth a lot. Um, yeah, and it just has like a nice cutting guitar to it. A little bit like uh, the hidden track on the first Green Day album that made it big. Third album total. And I really like the guitar tech that I set up on that. It's very different than anything I'd recorded again. Sounds a little bit like Chasing the Golden Age, the title track from that album. Now you've got a very sad song, 16, about aging. Very folk style, old style, finger picking. And that song's got a lot of heart to it, but it, it is a little bit dark. It was the original ending track to the album, and I decided there needed to be a song about laddering. So I recorded the final song, which is a big folk hit. And it is the top rung of the album, so to speak. It is the overcoming, the conquering, the reaching of the point, or at least the cresting up to a point where you can take a little bit of a look around before you start to continue your climb. And that's the album. It's laddering, everybody. Thanks so much for asking questions. They came in on Twitter at DHX Music, and I thought I would just explain all the songs real quick and let you know what they're about. We're going to be doing a live stream, possibly performance of some of these songs coming up soon. So thank you for supporting my music. I've been giving these downloads away all year and for 10 years on dannyhogger.podbean.com or find Danny Hogger Podcasts on iTunes. That's H-A-U-G-E-R. And if you want to support someone who's an independent musician, pick up a track or the album on iTunes, Amazon, only $6.99 on CD Baby. And all the links are down in the description. Don't forget to subscribe. Yeah. It's over here. Okay, got it. And uh, thank you so much for your support. I mean, picking up 100 subscribers in the last uh, week or two has been a great boost of confidence. And there'll be a new album every year and a new song every week. So other than that, I just thank you because the community we're creating that enjoys music and content pushes so many of us to be more creative than we would be otherwise and helps us ladder, helps us try to move up. There you go. You're supporting me. I'm glad for it. I appreciate you. Thanks for listening. I'm Danny Hogger, and we'll talk to you later. Thank you so much for supporting me in this album. This is Laddering, and I'm Danny Hogger saying, see you later, guys.